One of the things we run into when becoming more sophisticated with wine is the seemingly simple task of how to read a wine label. Wines are essentially labeled in one of three ways. They can be labeled by grape variety, by region, or by made up or fantastical name. Let's run through an example of each style of wine labeling methodology so that you can better understand what's actually inside this bottle of wine. Wines by variety. This labeling methodology is popular in places like the United States, Australia, and Argentina. When you look at the bottle of wine, you'll see a name and it will indicate the grape variety that's used in the bottle. Now, fundamentally, the vast majority of wines come from just one species called Vitis vinifera, but from that one species are derived thousands of different cultivars or grape varieties. And even if you don't know wine that well, you probably know some of these. Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon. What's interesting is that even though there are thousands of these different varieties planted throughout the world, only about 100 or so make up over 70% of what's planted. So one fun thing you can do if you are just getting into wine is start tasting different single varietal wines. We actually have an awesome grape explorer on the Wine Folly website where you can discover different grape varieties, how they taste, what foods they pair with, and where they come from. Wines by region. This right here is an example of a wine labeled by region. The biggest part of the label says Burgundy Oak Coat de Bone. And if you look under that label, it says Appalachian Burgundy Oak Coat de Bone Controle. That is the regional classification associated with this wine, which controls what grape varieties go inside this bottle of wine. And if you look up the grapes of Burgundy, you can find out that if it's red, and yes, this is a red wine, it is Pinot Noir. So one way you can become more familiar with regional wines is to get a map that shows the region and the grape varieties that are planted there. We actually make these at Wine Folly and they look awesome on your wall. Wines by made up name. Now I think that regional labeling actually spurred the creation of fantastical naming in wine. And here's a good example to illustrate it. Tuscany is famous for Sangiovese, and that is their regionally approved grape. You can find it in the regional wine of Chianti and Chianti Classico, but there are more regions than just Chianti in the Tuscany region. And sure enough, a producer in one of those subregions called Bulgari started to think that maybe Sangiovese didn't grow as well in his area and he should plant different grape varieties. This producer, Tenuta Sanguido, planted Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc and started making blended wines with not officially approved grape varieties for Tuscany. The wines turned out to be great and people loved them, but because they weren't under the official classification, they were declassified to the lowest Tuscan regional wine. So what did that producer do? Well, he made the name of the wine Sasakaya and it's actually one of the more expensive wines you can buy from Tuscany today. The story of this Tuscan fantastically named wine Sasakaya shows you how great a proprietary blend can be, but proprietary blends can actually be the dark side of wine too. Any trip to the supermarket will show you a plethora of made up named wines selected by smart marketing companies who know how to get inside your brain and make you want to buy something. So next time you're shopping for wine, try to identify what labeling methodology the producer is using. It's a better opportunity for you to understand what's actually inside. All right, if you made it this far, definitely hit that like button. And if you're interested in more wine inspiration, I invite you to join the Wine Folly newsletter. One of the first newsletters is the Wine 101 guide, which is a really awesome guide on finding new wines and getting a deeper dive into what you like best. Until next time, happy drinking, peace out.